I'm going to give you guys the good, the bad, the ugly. I'm just here to give you guys real. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a hair review on this AliExpress hair brand because I have had a few bad uh, incidents dealing with AliExpress and just like their hair vendors. And I'm just gonna give you guys a few tips and basically just review this hair and tell you what I like and what I don't like. And then, you know, get more into detail just about AliExpress in general. So to start off, I would like to say, y'all make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe. We are gonna sit here, we gonna wait because Listen, I'm on the road to a thousand subscribers and I'm so excited because who don't want a thousand subscribers? Like, y'all gotta show me love in order to get some more love. Like, I know there's people on here that actually do enjoy watching me and I really appreciate it. Like, y'all don't understand. Like, I didn't think that I was gonna care to do YouTube until I started doing YouTube and I actually love it. But I need y'all to show me support. Go ahead and subscribe down below. And we're gonna get right into this video. AliExpress. I know most women, I know all of us, most of us have ordered hair from AliExpress. Y'all, I have this headband thing on because I just laid my hair down for this video. I've had this hair on for, um, I've had this hair on for a few days now. It's been like four or five days. And I just wanted to really, really get a good wear out of it before I did the hair review. And honestly, the hair, okay. I ordered this hair from, let me make sure I get their name right because I would hate to get their name wrong and then, yeah. I ain't got no lashes on. This is just bare me. <laughs> I ain't got nothing on, but it's okay. I got this hair from Poker Face Official Store. I am going to scroll through and show y'all. I got this hair from Poker Face Official Store. They have great prices. Don't get me wrong, they have amazing prices. They really, like, you would think that they're gonna send you the hair that you expected. So let me tell y'all what really happened between me and this company. Okay, so I'm back. My camera memory card got full, but like I was saying, this hair company has good, like, their hair looks very, very good. And that's another thing with AliExpress. So for one, you wanna be very careful when it comes to looking at their pictures and believing that that's how your hair is gonna look. For one, most of the pictures that they're using as their advertisement is people from Instagram, Instagram influencers. It could be people that you look up to that their hair looks good and they're gonna, they know that you think that looks good. So they're gonna think, you're gonna think that, yeah, don't fall for that. That's a trick out the old book. You really need to read the reviews, y'all. The reviews is what really counts. Make sure you go down in the comments, read all the reviews. Now, mind you, some of their reviews are fake. If you see a review that has the word dear, fake. Mm. If you see a review that has the word ma'am, mm. fake. What else they be calling you? Dear? Like, they say the weirdest stuff. Like, that's them making fake reviews. Also, if the hair company does not have over, let me see. If the hair brand company does not have over like a thousand like sales, that's not always mean that they're not a good company, but it's just harder to trust. Like, go for the stores that have a lot of like sales. But yeah, just go for the ones that have the most um, sales. That's another tip. As far as this company goes, I'm gonna show y'all. This is supposed to be a 40 inch, like, I guess, lace front. It's supposed to be a 40 inch. 40 inch on me should not be this short, right? I am five foot, y'all. I am five zero flat. I'm going to show you guys how the front looks. I just did my hair. I've had it on, but I just touched it up because I knew I was going to be recording. Y'all. So, I am five foot tall, and this hair is supposed to be 40 inches, and it is not is it yeah it's supposed to be 40 inches it is not 40 inches i have ordered hair before from a company um a black owned company actually and my hair was i ordered a 28 inch and the hair came just about the same length as this like i said i'm very short so it, i was very surprised when i got this hair and it wasn't as long as it's supposed to be on me 
very disappointed. I paid almost $400 for this hair. You know, thinking that it was a good price, thinking I was gonna get a good bargain. And no, the hair came very trashy. This is not what I ordered. It's supposed to be body wave. I tried curling it. It is also very thin. So even if I, even when I tried curling it, it looked just very thin, just not, it wasn't given. It just wasn't given to girls, nothing. Like, very ugly. What I can say is the top of this hair, the frontal, whatever frontal they use to make this wig, definitely is good hair. I can run my fingers through it. I could like, you know, when I curled it, it looked so pretty. It shines different. But the bundles that they use, look, hang it and all stuck in it and stuff. Just wouldn't recommend. And this is from Poker Face Hair Company. Whatever hair poker face something. So, um, would not recommend at all. Just look at this. And it looks like they put one bundle in here. Literally. So, I would not recommend this at all. Look at the back. I'm going to comb through it for y'all. The top is good. And then as soon as it gets to the bottom. Just can't even comb through it. It's terrible. So. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Um, yes, I also did a hair install video if y'all would like to see how I slayed my edges, laid this wig. I still may do what do, but it just was not giving. I couldn't even go to any events really just because, you know. Oh, and that's another thing, y'all. When it comes to shipping, basically how long it takes for you to get a wig. Everybody knows that when you order a wig from AliExpress, you typically get it within three days. If you order bundles, anything, you're going to get it within about three days, maybe four days, maybe a week at the most. Y'all, y'all not going to believe me. I ordered this wig and I got the wig two months later. I waited two months. Mind you, I was supposed to open a dispute because who's going to wait two months for hair, right? Me. Me being the duck that I am, you know, I waited and I said, I'm going to give them a chance. I'm going to give them the upper hand because the lady was just lying to me. And she kept saying, oh, I sent it out. Then she told me that the package got lost. Then she told, I just had like a really bad experience with them. And I would not recommend to anybody to order from this hair brand company. And that's just me being quite honest. Like, I don't want to come off as being disrespectful at all. But I'm just being very, very honest with y'all because... Just imagine how many people this has happened to with this specific brand, you know. So, would not recommend. Maybe their shorter lengths are better. Maybe they tried something with me and I fell for it. But they have a nice amount of orders on it and everything. And it just ended up not being what I ordered. So, like I said, y'all, I waited very long for this hair. When it came, it was this. Shitty. She kept in contact with me, but I kept getting a lot of automated responses, and I don't like that. I normally don't go through that with people. I also ordered hair from another company before. I would have to go back and look. This was so long ago. This was like last year, March, around March, February, March. And I, around my birthday, y'all, my birthday's coming up. I can't wait. I'm doing a whole vlog. Like, it's about to be lit. So, y'all tune in. Make sure y'all subscribe if y'all want to see. It's about to be a movie for my 21st birthday. Um, anyways, that's what I'm saying. So, I ordered hair last year. It was a blonde, like, 613 hair. And I ordered it from AliExpress. Once again, it was a good price and everything. And I ordered a 30-inch. And I'm going to show y'all pictures and stuff. Because it was not what I ordered. Like, the hair, the lace itself was trash. I don't know. I just had certain, I've had good times with AliExpress. And I've had really bad times with AliExpress. It's really a hit or miss. And I feel like, from experience, I feel like the better the price, the worse the experience. AliExpress already has, but I can't say that for every hair brand. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do believe in you pay for what you get, or you get what you pay for. But I do, but I do have people who have ordered from AliExpress and have said that their hair is exactly how they wanted it. It's perfect. It's all these things. So, I just think from personal experience... I probably would spend a little bit more coin as much as I don't want to on better hair. 
just for a better hair experience in general um so yeah just like this was just like a little feedback don't order from these brands that don't seem legit y'all if you need help ordering hair reach out to people that know more about hair if it is your first time ordering from aliexpress i'm glad you tuned into this video because i'm just being very honest there's a lot of little red flags that y'all should know about and i feel like enough people don't speak about it so yeah that's it that's all for today if you guys want to see me install this it's it's a glueless lace that I did on myself um you know your girl had to lay the edges and I don't know if y'all can really see but it's very much giving scalp yeah it's giving scalp um I have that linked below and I'm gonna also have it linked up here if you click that y'all will be tuned in I'm like so tongue-tied I'm always tongue-tied when I get in front of the camera but I did this with no glue no nothing y'all tune in it's gonna be linked below Make sure you go like and subscribe that to that video. Subscribe to me. Show me mad love. And just go all out. Like, I feel like y'all don't be showing me that much love. Like, comment. Do something. So, yeah. Don't order from this brand. But I'm going to show y'all how I installed it. And still got the best out of, you know, my little small mistake. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Go tune into my last video. Bye. Showing y'all a little close up of my hair. This is after you know a few days. My edge is a little messed up, but y'all see it. Y'all see it. Go tune in to my video. I did a glueless install on this wig. No glue used. And yeah, I didn't even mold the cap, y'all.